I wasn't smelling my hand. All right, I was smelling it a bit. I was like, yeah, clean enough for TV, I thought. No, I'm just thinking, oh, man, what a week it's been. I'm, I feel like I'm exhausted this week. I've done so much stuff. I've, um... Well, I've been here for, you know, an hour a night. And I've got to go shopping this weekend because you know what it is? It's the last shopping weekend before Christmas. You're welcome, retail trade. I hate this weekend for shopping. It's the worst thing. I always do this. I always be Christmas shopping to the last minute. Now I have to go and buy stuff for people. <laughs> when I was younger, I thought, if you get on TV, you'll have people that'll buy stuff for you for people. You won't have to actually do stuff. <laughs> ooh la la, ooh la la. <laughs> and then... Oh, <laughs> and what I mean is, no way. <laughs> No, I, I, I have to do tons of stuff. And I thought, yeah, wait a minute, I, I'm on a TV show. Well, sort of. And <laughs> I, I have to do all the stuff that I, when I was a kid, right? I thought, well, once I get, if I get on TV, I won't have to go to the dentist. I have to go to the dentist. I have to do shopping. I have to do stuff that everybody else has to do and they don't complain about it, but I do complain about it. <laughs> so sorry, everybody. <laughs> Sitting there going, what? what's that coming to go? No, I, I, I'm going to approach the, this shopping weekend with gratitude. There, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be grateful that I have enough money to go and buy some gifts. Well, you know, a gift. <laughs> if you could buy only one gift for one person in your family, think about who you'd buy it for. I am. Um... <laughs> I only have to really get two gifts, one for me and one for... My friend. Bulls. <laughs> that was a complete testicular non sequitur, if you don't mind me saying so. I was just talking and you said balls. Doesn't mean any any resemblance to what Bulls. <laughs> Bulls. Didn't bear any didn't bear and uh, not resemblance, uh, didn't relevance. It was no relevance to what I was saying. I mean Well said. What the hell, man? You've gone dadaist on me. He's acting up because he thinks I won't get my present, but I am going to get my present. A box. <laughs> oh, snap. <Yeah. laughs> All right, we'll take a break. A break? Yeah, we'll take a break. We'll see. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you're not a sidekick, you're just a thin heckler. I need this job. No, oh, shut up. We'll be right back. Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by T-Mobile. The new T-Mobile My Touch 4G has you covered on America's largest 4G network. Sit down, you're cheering, let it die away quite naturally. 
God, it's even phonier than most nights tonight. They're like, all right, all right, all right, we're done. <sighs> Get on with it, fatty. Ah, <laughs> uh, welcome people that didn't get into the prices right. <laughs> Let me tell you something, madam. I'm practicing for one of those English movies. Let me tell you something, madam. Your trousers are magnificent. And it's a great day for America, everybody. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's a... Well, and uh, let me tell you why. Because uh, there's a big movie opening today. I'm very excited about it. Yogi Bear opens today. Hooray! That's right. <laughs> yeah, very convincing. Thanks, everybody. Yogi Bear opens. You know what that means? It's Oscar season. I was looking forward to Yogi Bear. I'm like, yes! And then I saw the trailer. I'm like, what? <laughs> It's too scary. <laughs> it is. I don't like it. They've updated it. They've made him a kind of modern bear. <laughs> I'm not sure. Take a look. Look, the trailer. Welcome to the 100th anniversary of Jellystone. I heard you had an unusual brown bear. <sighs> fake applaud, but I'm not sure. I, I like the old Yogi Bear cartoon. You know, he said, a tusker, a tusker, a pig and egg basket. <laughs> Which I admit is probably not the best rhyme I've ever heard, but it's not bad for a bear. Not only can the bear speak, but he understands the basic meter of poetry. <laughs> so what if tasket isn't a word? What would you rather him say? A, a corn dog, a Cheeto, where's my burrito? No! <laughs> Yeah, that's, I said, there's my poem. Anyway, I think, I think this Yogi Bear movie is dangerously, dangerously, dangerously. Well said. Thank you, Jack. It's dangerously misleading, because bears don't walk in their hinds like, uh, like, like you, you know? Well Thank said. Thank you, Jack. Bears don't walk in their hind legs like Yogi, you know, when he, when he goes after the picnic baskets. It's true, bears can stand on their hind legs for short periods, but they eat their food on all fours. They're like Hasselhoff. They're like David Hasselhoff. <laughs> Except perhaps a little less furry, but the same kind of thing. Now, I can hear some of you asking, Craig, are you an idiot? Yes, I am. <laughs> Well said. Thank you. I, I make that clear here night after night. And yes, I take life lessons from cartoons. Once, when I was younger, I wanted to go somewhere, so I put on roller skates and strapped an Acme rocket to my ass. <laughs> I didn't get anywhere, but it was the best damn three minutes of my life. <laughs> <laughs> beep, beep. Uh, I, uh, Yo Yogi Bear is just, uh, it's just pro-bear po propaganda. The people behind the movie don't want you to know the truth. Bears are not our friends. <laughs> what? Yes! Bears are sharks of the forest. Actually, bears are worse than sharks. If a shark attacks you, it's because it thought you were something else, like a seal or a sandwich. But if a bear, a bear would attack you just for the fun of it. It will. At least they do at the clubs I go to. Grrr. Is that code? No, I think that's pretty on the nose, actually, yeah. Anyway, for some reason, though, we continue to love bears. I mean, how else do you explain the popularity of teddy bears? You know, in Canada, they throw teddy bears on the ice at, at hockey games. I'm not kidding. Look at this. Look. These people live right next to us. <laughs> They're just up there. But, it, I mean, that's not so bad. It's better than they did last year when they threw kittens on the ice. I know. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at 
Now look, before you start, it's not real kittens, it was teddy bears with the kitten sound effect, no kittens were harmed, nobody's trying to take your cats away from you. Good. Anyway, I'm talking about bears. If you ever see a bear, stay away, because they look cuddly on TV, but in real life they're very dangerous and unpredictable. It's like Katie Couric. <laughs> on TV, in real life. I tell you, you see her in real life, she will maul you. <laughs> My honeypot still has paw marks. Is that code? <laughs> Not really, it's pretty much on the nose, I think. Now, people say you can scare a bear away if, if it corners you, but how, how, how does anyone, uh, you know, succeed in cornering, you know, uh, anyone in a forest? You can't corner anyone in a forest. It's very difficult to corner anyone in a forest. Ask George Michael. <laughs> Most dangerous type of bear, though, is the polar bear. That's true. Well, it's one of the few animals that will hunt you for sport. They, they stalk their prey, a polar bear. Not just in the snow, what happens if the polar bear, other bears will like chase you, if you get away, it's like ah. But, but if a polar bear is after you, it'll come, just not just the snow, it'll follow you back home on the plane. <laughs> a few rows back with a hat on. <laughs> hiding behind a newspaper in Starbucks. <laughs> but the barista would give them away, like I've got a grande mochaccina for a bear. Car! I said Barry! <laughs> Do you know that bears have learned, this, polar bears have learned this thing that because they're completely white on their back, the only thing that stands out against the snowy background is their nose. So when they're, you know, when they're stalking people and they want to appear invisible, they go like this. <laughs> That's true, they walk around like that. They're, they're like, Bruh. They're like big furry Draculas walking around. <laughs> There you are, that was the nature part of our show. Let's say hi to CBS sponsors. Are you implying it's time for a commercial break? Bulls. <laughs> Is that code? No! You're just saying stuff that's actually stuff is not code. That's just, it's not even a double entendre. It's just an entendre. Balls. Balls, yeah, all right. We have to take a break, but when we come back... Balls. balls. All right, we'll be right back. Let's see, welcome back everybody to the show that cares about you. <laughs> Why would you laugh at that? <laughs> Time is it, Jeff Pearson? Santa, any tweets in your sack? <laughs> well, I don't know, let's look into Santa's sack and see if he's got anything for us. Have you, Santa? Twitter! Tweet, tweet, tweet! Chicken Vindaloo is good to eat. My name is Scooter. I'll fix your computer. I'm a happening guy and a dope troubleshooter. When you call tech support, you'll be talking to me. I got more patience than Mahatma Gandhi. And emails. All right. All right, this is from uh, Bartek in uh, Zabrzd in Poland. <laughs> that one watching it on the computer? Are they watching it on the... Uh, right. I don't speak any Polish at all. Um, but that's all right, because this is an American television show. Sure, we should be all right. Sorry, Poland. <laughs> all right, uh, Bartek says, Dear Craig, I have a small problem with my math teacher. She yelled, You've got a temper! at me. And I said, In your pants. <laughs> Now I'm afraid of not passing this year. What should I do? <laughs> ah, you want to say another phrase from Jeff Peterson's arsenal of witty reposts? Uh, yeah, that. They say that. 
to say balls. Yeah. And then say in your pants. pants. Yeah. All right. Uh, here you go. Um, this is uh, from Alec in Mechanicsburg in uh, Pennsylvania. Mechanicsburg? Is that a real town or is he messing with me? Mechanicsburg's a real name for a town? What, what kind of people live there? <laughs> uh, Dear Craig, says Alex in Mechanicsburg, I'm building a guitar. Oh! <laughs> Should I paint it like a tuxedo with a giraffe face on the headstock or cover it in that texture spray paint that looks like a rock? <laughs> I think you've got to lay off the for a little bit. You don't want a guitar that looks like a tuxedo, because then it looks like you're interfering with a small dude. <laughs> people think, when you're playing a guitar solo, people think, why is he tickling that midget? Don't do that. <laughs> we are... <laughs> no, there's, there's one color for a guitar, sunburst finish. It's a kind of sunburst finish. <laughs> All right, this is from Jamie in Salisbury in Maryland. I love Maryland. I got crabs there once. Uh... Bulls. No. Close, though. In your, your pants. pants. Yeah, there you go. Jamie in Salisbury in Maryland says, uh, I need your help. I forgot to get my boss a Christmas gift. Oh. <laughs> What's the best gift you got this year from those who work for you? I don't know, I haven't received anything yet. <laughs> Any ideas? You're not going to get me anything, are you? <laughs> I won't get you anything then. Then we'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah well, if you're not getting me anything, I'm not getting you anything. That's not what Christmas is about. Christmas is about a decent and fair transaction. That the value of my gift should be slightly less than the value of your gift to me. Well said. All right. Uh, this is from Wilson in Monrovia in uh, Philadelphia. He says, uh, Craig, do you know anyone who actually likes candy canes? In your pants. No. No, I don't, actually. Do you like candy canes? Yeah, there you are, then. Of course, you don't have a stomach, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is from Cameron in Alcoa in Tennessee, who says, uh, Hi, Craig, people keep telling me I don't... Uh, telling me I look like I don't feel good, but I feel fine. What should I make of this? Well, you're clearly a vampire. <laughs> Try to avoid garlic and sleep in a coffin during the day. I hope that helps. CBS cares. Uh, and this is from Fred in Memphis in Tennessee. That's, it was all Philadelphia and Tennessee tonight. It was nearly all that. And Poland. Uh, so, uh, Craig, I'm trying to reorganize my CD, record, and DVD collections. Should I go alphabetical or chronologically? I think you should go digital and throw all that uh -oh. out. <laughs> You don't need all that anymore. Yeah. All that stuff you spent years gathering up, spending all your money on, now redundant. <laughs> yeah. Isn't technology great? <laughs> well, it's time for a commercial break. <laughs> Thanks for helping there, Jeff. Without you, this show would have a lot of awkward pauses. I cherish these moments, Craig. Me too, Jeff. Me too. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. to the 
big CBS show, the show that is the face of the CBS network. <laughs> the one that CBS plow all their money and support into. This show. <laughs> I'm saying the opposite of what's true for comic effect. <laughs> My first guest is in the uh, Gulliver's Travels film, which is in theatres on Christmas Day. Take a look at this. Some people believe you have come from the island where we dare not go. <laughs> is there any truth to this rumor? No. Wh where's the island where we dare not go? <gasps> there, beyond the fog bank. Um, well, I didn't come through a fog bank. I'm from the island of Manhattan, between the islands of Staten and... Long. Were you the president? Oh, well, of course he was, Mother. I was actually known as President the Awesome. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Billy Connolly, everybody. Billy Connolly. What oh. a jolly mob! <laughs> yeah, they're 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 uh, highly paid vagrants. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice to see you, Billy, and nice to see your shoes. I see you're I wearing spikes. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to see your shoes. I nice to see your that. shoes. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> Do you look well? You look very nice. You look like you've been um, playing jazz. <laughs> I just like fancy showing off stuff. No, it's very nice. I like the shoes. That These shoes were made popular by uh, gangsters in the 1920s, you know. Of course they were. Yeah. I, I, I like, I've got brown ones and green ones as well. I just, I love strutting my stuff. <laughs> Have you ever tried being a transvestite? That's, uh... <laughs> That's a lot. A lot of the uh, a lot of the comedians enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd be good at it. You get the hair, Big Jesse. You yeah, know, you've got lovely long hair. I've got very pretty hair. Yeah. <laughs> I have some casual clothes that I've done little with in recent years. It's probably a great idea. Yeah, I think it's not bad. Now, uh, listen, I've I never. Oh, I dressed as a woman a couple of times. Yeah, me too. It, 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 with, with Kenny Everett, do you remember oh, him? Yes, in Britain in the 1980s. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, in his show, we yeah. dressed as women. And we both had beards and we spoke about facial hair problems. <laughs> 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 yeah. I think I might have seen that, actually. Yeah, yeah that's right. Um, listen, I hear that your wife is in the Dancing with the Stars show. In She's Britain. in the final. That's amazing! And Congratulations! So stunning, yeah. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's not the American one. <laughs> it's, the only, it's only the British one. It's, it's, the, it's the British one. It's on in, in, on Saturday night in London. So are you going back there to? Yes, I am. Do, and she, she's going. To, what, what dance is she doing then? She's doing the Charleston, the Quick Step, uh, the, the Charleston, the Argentinian Tango. And, and another couple of dances I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> seems like it's a more rigorous competition than the one we have here, certainly. Yeah, well, I've been coming back and forward. I'm, I'm always jet-lagged. I was in Canada for a while performing, and then I had to shoot over there and see her come back and see my girls go over there. So I've been sort of permanently jet-lagged. It's the strangest thing. Very, very weird condition to be in. Do you and find yourself very farty? I find that the... the, the uh... <laughs> Pressurization, really? No, but what I feel is my, my dinners don't process. I've got, about, I've, I have about four lined up ready to go through. <laughs> it's kind of like, like at the airport itself, like the planes are waiting to arrive, that's like right, the dinners are waiting to, dinners, yeah. things are waiting to land. Yeah. And I'll tell you the worst, the worst imaginable thing: at waking up fresh as a daisy at quarter to three in the morning. Yeah. And, when the whole world is asleep. I know. And you have only four pages left in your book and you're trying to make them last. Yeah. <laughs> and then the couple next door start to have sex. Hello, I'm in. Have you ever had been in that position? I wish it? I had. <laughs> so the, 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 oh, you mean in the hotel? In the hotel. Yes, oh, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Somebody yeah. starts banging away next door. Well, do you know? Yeah. Uh, you know what? Do you know what I hate though is when you you hear that and then the dude starts making more noise than the woman. I think there's something rude about that. Do you know what I mean? Well, well, like, oh, oh, that, that's right. right. That's right. Yeah. Well, well, the guys, the men make the animal. The hoo 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 And the women, the women go yes, 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 yes. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> and you want to knock the wall and say, could you stop asking her the question? <laughs> she said yes, for God's sake, are you deaf? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got quite turned on there when you did that yes now, yeah. I was like, whoa, oh, You don't need to dress as a woman. I was like, whoa! No, I don't know. No, listen, that's, I like the idea of, the, of uh, your wife, Pamela, uh, winning Dancing with the Stars in Britain. That's lovely. It's extraordinary. Do you, are you a dancer yourself? Do you, the no. Two you go, oh, right. No, I've, I've always pretended to be drunk when I'm dancing. <laughs> that's, that's the guy technique. There's, uh, myself and, and, and my friends, you'd probably know them, Billy Patterson. Of and, course, and yeah, yeah, Scottish yeah. actors. Yes, absolutely. When we were young, we'd specialised in doing this for a laugh. You know, you would... You would dance with the woman and, and slowly get lower, bringing her down, so it's, <laughs> eventually you were like this, and they couldn't understand what you were doing, or, or take your trousers off. So That's you know, not while, technically legal, you, really. You, yeah, know, that, you know, while the woman is really close to you, just loosen your... No, 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 Billy, Billy, that's assault! <laughs> No, that's not nice at all. <laughs> it's, it's very, very funny. Yeah, well, I don't know. When you watch your friends doing it, you know. Yes, yes. It's very, very I'm funny. I'm not sure. Now, is, well, well, There's loads of funny things you can do like that. If you're ever at a buffet, <laughs> an open buffet, mm -hmm. you can take out your willy and, mm -hmm. and put it on the plate. <laughs> Again, not technically legal. <laughs> no. And then put salad on it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, all right. No, no you mustn't. You, you, you don't cover it up completely. The, the, the object is to have it lurking in the undergrowth. All right. Yeah, yeah. And then talk to people, you know, and, and eat bits and mingle. Well, it, there's no more mingling than having your willy out at a party. That's... You mean, so you, 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 you have the plate uh, here. Yes. You put your pee-pee on... Then you go on the buffet. So, so you, have, you have the thing on there and the, and the salad and then you, you wander around. But wait, what, what if you... And then I say to you, there's the Lord Mayor. Go and talk to him. Okay. See, so you go over with, with you <laughs> and talk about salad. <laughs> do you want to try some of this? Salad? <laughs> so they do a lovely tomato here. Yeah, you know. I, I, I don't know really. And what happens if you inadvertently get to a hot plate? <laughs> <laughs> then you whack it and zip it up <laughs> and have vinaigrette running down your thighs. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, you're taking me back now. <laughs> ah, those oh, were the days. Oh, those Scottish evenings. Yeah, there's days in Scotland with vinaigrette running vinegar down your thighs. Vinegar in your underwear. Yeah, they don't, they don't show you that in Braveheart. You they? tell, yeah. you tell the young ones today. Yeah, they don't believe you. They yeah. don't believe a We made our own entertainment back then. Oh yes. There were no iPods, just vinaigrette <laughs> in your underpants. Vinaigrette. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. So you're back, you're back there all the time then in Scotland now? No, no, I live in New York. Oh. <laughs> well, Although so I just got the freedom of Glasgow. You did not. I did so. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks what, very what much. What does that what does that actually mean then? What it's, do you get? It's just an honor, really. You're allowed to graze your sheep in Glasgow Green and <laughs> But I'll tell you the strangest thing, you can I can fish the River Clyde any time I like. Yes. Which is I thought I could anyway, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been freely fishing it for many happy well, years. Uh, you've been breaking the law as much as having your pee-pee in your salad. <laughs> 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 so, so you can fish the river like and pee -pee. green. Pee-pee. Yeah, pee-pee, yeah, that's right. It's CBS, it's pee-pee here, all right. So, 
you're, you're, uh, you can graze your sheep. And you, you can graze your sheep. You don't have any sheep. There's a bridge I'm allowed to take them across. And, and I, must, I must defend Glasgow uh, at all times, which I happily do and have done for many happy years. Mm. But the best thing is, if I'm ever thrown in jail, I'm entitled to a cell of my own. I think I've got the freedom of the city of Glasgow as well. Because <laughs> when they put me in jail, I was on my own in the cell. So was I. <laughs> No, I could hear you next I door. Heard, going, I was yes, in. yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Ah, good times. That's because I had found a particularly nice vinaigrette. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like that jailhouse vinaigrette. Uh, oh right, I made myself feel a bit sick there. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you get the freedom of the city of Glasgow, and did they, have they given you a knighthood yet over there? Do no, you, are you Sir William Connolly? Yet? No, I've got a CBE. What does that mean? A credit card? I'm a, I'm a commander of the Order of the British Empire. So that means nothing. Okay. <laughs> but you get a tie. Oh, I can't argue with a free and a tie. Medal, you get a medal. It's like an iron cross. <laughs> but it's pale blue. It's a very pretty thing That's from wearing around your do neck. You, do you wear your medals much around? No, I don't know. You should I'm wear not, your I'm medal not... when you've got your pee-pee in the salad. That would confuse you. Absolutely. Yeah. Because I'm not generally invited to the, the, the medal kind of do's. You'll be going to the royal wedding, though, surely? I don't think so. Really? I don't know him very well. I only met him once and he was a wee boy. Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, listen, we're out of time, Billy, so is it a uh, mouth organ or awkward pause? Give us a mouth organ. A mouth organ it is. Now, um, we could you do know a mouth organ and an awkward pause. Well, aye, ever... let's not get ahead of ourselves. Have, uh, have you ever had an awkward pause on a mouth organ? I have, but not on TV. <laughs> is that cool? No, it's pretty much on the nose, Jeff. Where is that guy? Is it over there? You're not feeding that thing properly. Yeah. <laughs> he, I don't know, he's always at the salad bar. I don't know what he's at. <laughs> he's like a deadhead who missed the bus. <laughs> oh. Wait. Do we have... Did you score? Yeah, yeah, if you can play... that could actually play this damn thing, we would give them the golden mouth organ that's under glass. Bring it on out! Bring out the golden mouth organ! Look! There they are! Look at that! Yeah! Sir William Connolly, let me present you with the golden harmonica of CBS. has got the spot that all comedians dream of, right after Billy Connolly. <laughs> Luckily, she's a very, very funny comedian. She's doing uh, this New Year's Eve at Cap City Comedy Club in Austin, Texas. Please welcome the adorable and hilarious Maria Bamford, everybody, Maria Bamford. It's, uh, it's hard during the holidays being single. Everyone walking around town in a two-headed Snuggie. And uh, I can't listen to love songs. Uh, love songs on the coast with Delilah. Where are you calling from tonight? What are your requests and dedications? What's your name? Happy holidays. Where are you calling from? 
Hi, Amy, calling in from Tustin, Arizona. What's going on with you tonight, Amy? <laughs> so you and Matt broke up. That's hard. That's tough. What do, what do you want to say to Matt tonight? <laughs> We'll play that for you. That's Penny Lover by Lionel Richie. Yeah, yes, we can. <laughs> uh, I have a hard time when people are really confident in their relationships. You know, we both met and we just both kind of knew. <sighs> so you guys never fight about anything? Oh, <laughs> he doesn't like onions. <laughs> You never had any issues you had to work through with like a freaking workbook? You know, if I were you, I'd watch out for red flags. Okay, but what if I'm like a flag factory that only manufactures giant red flags? <laughs> Maybe you need to learn to be the one before you meet the one. Is that Bob Dylan? Tyler Swift. Hey, good luck. Yeah, good luck with what, whatever you're doing. Merlin, with your book of spells and potions. <sighs> I, uh, I always get afraid of relationships. Uh, somebody asked me how to say, just take my purse, don't hurt me. You know? <laughs> oh, I just want to get to know you. I have nothing of value. <laughs> Let's just go to co for coffee. Who sent you? <laughs> But I, I put myself out on the internet, and it's pretty exciting. A lot of guys are very active. Uh, so they'll say, like, I can strap out a cupboard bud and go to the dinner party ballet opera, or I'll hog tie us both and ride the rails. I work hard. I play harder. I'll rest when I'm dead. I'll rest when I'm Ted, and I'll never be that guy. <laughs> Got your passport? Let's go parasail glide biking. <laughs> I don't have that kind of energy, you know, I'm getting older, and uh, so my current ad reads, I can wear the same out for five days, or I can crouch naked in the shower and get real small. <laughs> I sleep hard. I dream harder. <laughs> I'm on a 15-mile high roller coaster with my dog and Kofi Annan. I'll wake up when it's time. <laughs> Got your library card? Let's go pay off some of my fines. Because I don't borrow books. I lease. But, uh, I was getting older, and uh, I'm uh, trying to accept, you know, who I am. And uh, my manager uh, told me recently, uh, you know, he thought I should get maybe some Botox. I said, oh, I don't know. Mm. There's so much left to explore. Is, is, is this is this no longer relevant? Is this not any good? Is this no longer in the zeitgeist? Thank you so much. Happy holidays. Thank you so much. Uh, listen, I'm very, just very quickly, I'm very, uh, as probably some of you may know, Billy Connolly has been my hero since I was a very young boy in Scotland. I've always looked up to Billy and I've always, you know, I think he, he's the, the greatest uh, living uh, comedian today. But uh, everyone, I cannot endorse putting your pee-pee in a salad. <laughs> Good night, everybody.